Hey guys, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Guys, please do me a favor, hit the like button for me, all right, on your way in, and we're going to go ahead and jump right into this reaction. First, we're going to go over to My Jazzy's Life House, and let's see, no, My Jazz Up Life. We're going to go over there. All right, so let me share the screen here. Okay. All right, guys, let's jump right into it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another cleaning fall video. So I actually went to Goodwill and found me a TV stand to put my TV on. My TV stand that I'm using right now is really my side table, but I didn't want the kids to knock that off. So I'm going to go ahead and move the TV onto this TV stand. I do plan on... I'm sorry guys, the way she has that TV lifted all the way up in the air like that, at first, I thought it was against the wall and those cords hanging down. It's very tacky in my opinion. However, I'm glad that she finally went to the Goodwill and bought herself something instead of expecting her subscribers to support her entire lifestyle. Good for you, Jazz. I'm getting a new TV because this one's really going out. It does not play anything in 4K. So I'm not going to get this one mounted to the wall until I get a new TV. But I'm going to go ahead and... I'm sorry, Jazz. That floor should not be that dirty. You just moved in there. And also, you need to get some rugs to warm up the place a bit. Your last place that had the carpet, it's going to be a little warmer in the wintertime. But this place is going to be freezing because those floors are... What is it called? Like, I don't know, cement floors, I guess. I guess that's what it is. And sweep up. One thing for sure is this floor catches a lot of dirt. We have no carpet anywhere in the house. So it's a lot of dust, a lot of dirt, and it's just a lot. So I find myself sweeping and swiffering and of course mopping a lot, especially since whoever used to live here, they had a dog in Bentley. I feel like he has one spot that he goes to that he's trying to mark his territory. But with that being said, I tried to get something, you know, like a pee pad to keep him from doing that. But that Guys, I have to say something about these pee pads, okay? First of all, what the hell do you need a pee pad for unless the dog is a puppy? If it's a puppy, okay, that's one thing. But these people who buy these dogs or get these animals, lock them up in cages, i.e. Olivia, okay? In an apartment, why would you get a big dog like that and then lock up in a cage? It is simply disgusting. You do not deserve to be a fur mom, all right? When you have fur babies, they're be to be treated as family members, Dogs do not belong locked in a cage, okay? The only animals that belong locked in a cage are like hamsters, gerbils, things like that. Not dogs. When that dog enters that house, he's supposed to be able to roam the house freely. If the dog is not trained, that's your job to train him, dummy. You bought the dog. Stop getting these animals and then locking them in cages, especially Bentlers. What is he, two pounds soaking wet? What the hell is he doing in a cage? And if the animal doesn't know how to act, put all that stuff up, Jazz. You're not clean enough. If Legend wouldn't leave all his toys on the floor, you need to teach him how to clean up. Get him a toy chest. Get him a box he can put his toys in and make him put clean those toys up every night. And then they won't be, he won't bite them up. I think it's absolutely disgusting. These people who call themselves fur moms and they're not even taking care of their dog or treating them like a member of the family. I'm sorry, I've owned multiple dogs. I've only owned one in an apartment. I took the dog out for a walk. I didn't need a pee pad. What is wrong with you people? All right, let's get back to it. That didn't work. He doesn't use it. He still goes outside. But anyways, to the fall decorations. So I actually got all my fall decorations, the little knickknacks from Dollar General as well. I do plan on getting some more because they had some cute stuff, but a part of me was like, fall decorations or pay your bills, pay your bills. And I only spent what? maybe $10 on these little decorations that I had. So the centerpiece that I'm going to put on my table, I actually got it from Goodwill, which was a still. Okay, y'all, I got it from Goodwill for, I believe I paid maybe $5 for this whole thing. I had to fix the flowers, but it came with the flowers and it came with the vase. And I just thought it was a perfect touch for the center of our table. Comment down below, do y'all shop at Goodwill or any other places for decorations? If so, let me know where else I can shop for decorations. Yes, I'm using Fabulosa to clean my counter and it's an all-purpose cleaner, so why not? I'm just pouring it on. Like I said, I found these little cute little... Jazz, you, you can like dilute Fabuloso. I don't use it 
just straight up fabuloso. I put like a water mix because sometimes I find there's a little bit of a texture, like a little bit of a um, a film when I clean it just with the fabuloso. And sometimes, guys, you know what I do? I take the purple. I don't only use the purple fabuloso, the dark purple, not the light, the lavender. I use the dark purple fabuloso. I'll get a pot that I boil fabuloso in. And I'll mix it with water and I'll just put a boiling pot of Fabuloso to make it makes the house smell so good. You guys should try it and let me know how it turns out. Decorations at Dollar General. So I found this little mat. It's a uh, pumpkin at Dollar General. And I also found this cute little pumpkin season coffee cup there. And I got me and Kaylin these two cute little Hello Pumpkin mugs for the fall. She was like, oh my God, it's the aesthetics. My child, y'all know how she is. But this is me trying to figure out how I want to set everything up over here and get everything, you know, organized where it just looks nice and homey. So she thinks Kaylin is her girlfriend, not her daughter. She has her wearing these cut off shirts, doing these un inappropriate poses. And now she's her her coffee drinking buddy at 12 or 11 years old. Come on, Jasmine. Jasmine, do better. Put some tea in her mug and call it a day. All right. She's not supposed to, at her age, be drinking coffee like that. Look, guys, I don't think it's anything wrong or I don't think it's like horrible to let your kid drink coffee from time to time. But kids should not be drinking coffee every day. Remember, it stains their teeth. That is an adult drink. And you better watch it with the caffeine while she's in the stage of development, all right? Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust, yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left. And I will go. Through the wastelands, through the highways, to my shadow, through the sun rays, and on and on we'll go. So I actually wanted to show y'all that I got the pumpkin spice candle, and I got these, you know, cinnamon roll, and I think it's pumpkin spice. Everything, all the scents, I actually got. Through the wastelands, through the highways, and on. No, I don't want no rest. Echoing around these walls. Why do dogs do this? My dog literally takes his bolt, takes his food out of his cage, and he puts it under his sleeping blanket. Yes, he does this. And he puts it around his cage. I don't know if he's trying to save it for later or what, but oh, please explain to me why dogs do this. That's why there's food always all the way around. And he's looking like why is the food in the cage in the first place? Like you're weird. Why is the dog's food? The dog should be coming out of the cage to eat and drink. Sky, remember Sky had that damn dog cage and it was food all over the floor with all of those roaches around it? Watch, Jazz is going to have roaches. Give her, get, just give her a few seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, boom. She'll have roaches in there inside of Bentley's cage. Bentley's gonna be fighting off the roaches because they're gonna be trying to get to his dog food. Like, why are you sweeping on my food? Because I don't want it on my floor, Bentley. <laughs> but yes, I do put his bowl in his cage at nighttime. Sometimes he sleeps in here, sometimes he doesn't. Tonight, well, last night he actually slept in his cage, but he does not even use the pee pad. I literally wiped up pee and hope that he peed on the pee pad. What do he need a pee pad for when you have a whole backyard with a gate? I could see if you had a backyard and you have like neighbors close by and you have don't have it gated. Guys, we don't have a gate. I shared this, this with you guys in, a, in another video. We don't have a gate, but guess what? We bought a dog collar and it beeps and it like buzzes. So that way, when our neighbors come out, like if our neighbor comes out to cut the grass and I'm out there with the dog, 
All you got to do is hit that beep. He's not even going to bark at the neighbor, okay? Because he's scared that you're going to level it up, hit the buzz, and it's like a little shocker on there. I'm not going to turn it all the way up because I actually love my dog like a family member. I might let my dog get away with too much, but I've never bought a pee pad in my life. Now, puppies, I get it, but come on, y'all. Why would she want Bentley to pee on the pee pad? Why can't you just t let the dog out in the morning, let the dog out in the morning, let him stay outside for like maybe an hour or two, depending on the heat, in the middle of the day, put a little bowl of water out there, stay outside with him. That could be a form of exercise. Why does she dislike Bentley so much? She thought it was cute to buy a little toy dog. That's what she thought. But if you don't like being a mom, why would you like being a dog mom? You don't like to mom, period. So just, some, you know, Marcus territory or something. Comment down below. What can I keep him from peeing in this one spot on the floor? Whatever dog that used to stay here must have peed there because he keeps trying to use it there. But y'all know how dogs are. But comment down below and let your girl know. I don't want to miss a beat. With that type of floor, you need a doormat on the inside and on the outside. Has Jess ever bought a doormat before, guys? I don't know. I don't remember seeing a doormat at the other house. I can't remember anymore. And we'll grow in number Fueled by them to see the horizon Turn us to thousands We'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways To my shadow, through the sun rays And we'll go Through the wastelands I actually like her um centerpiece on the table. I think it's actually cute especially for Jasmine, because we know she doesn't really have like a decorative touch. But this is giving Liv vibes. Remember Liv used to um, like decorate every place she had. So yeah, it, it, the tab this table centerpiece actually looks cute. The house and Okay, guys, we're moving right along. Guys, guess where I want to go? Guess whose house I was over to yesterday? Peach. All right. Guys, I never thought that I would like any of Peach's content because I don't care for Peach like that. But I'm really liking her mom content that she's posting on YouTube lately. Yes, I actually like it. So, guys, we're going to go over there and have a look-see. All right. So Peach has been packing the lunch for the kids. So Jazz, Peach has been doing a really good job with this. And I want you to take some notes, okay? All right, give me one second, y'all. Let me pull this up here. If you're just joining us, please, please hit the thumbs up for your girl. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, okay? All right, guys, let's get into this little real life with Peach, day two of packing a hot lunch, all right? Out a husband and seven kids. And today is Tuesday, August 27th, 2024. And it is my second day packing my kids a hot lunch for school. We're keeping it very simple. Every single day, Gorgeous loves to take pepperoni. Sometimes it's pepperoni by itself. Sometimes it's pepperoni and crackers. So today I'm doing pepperoni and crackers for Gorgeous. Now I think that is so cute that she put those sandwiches in little potato rolls. I would actually eat that. And she has the dry turkey, not that turkey with all that shiny stuff on it. See, I don't eat like, I know y'all probably tired of hearing this, but look, I'm sharing it anyway. It's my channel. I'm sharing what I want. I don't eat like lunch meat with like shiny stuff on it. I can't explain it. I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about. Like if I eat ham because i do eat ham but if i eat ham it has to be like the shaved off the bone i think it's called shaved off the bone because it's like a dry 
but I think Peach did a great job packing the lunch, guys. Let me stop talking you guys head off and let you watch it. Meanwhile, McIntyre enjoyed his sandwiches yesterday, so I'm making him sandwiches again. Today, I put ham, Swiss cheese, and turkey on some Hawaiian rolls. With these sandwiches, McIntyre does not like mayonnaise. He does but I think that's good that you don't put mayonnaise on a sandwich when it's going to be sitting inside of a lunchbox. If you want maybe some mayonnaise packets, I don't eat mayonnaise like that, but I think it's cute the way she did this lunch. It's not like mustard. He wants his sandwich plain like this. I'm also making some Cracker Barrel macaroni. That would be their hot meal item. My son, Amazing Life, who's in kindergarten, goes through the regular lunch line. They all have money in their account to get regular school lunch if they want, but Gorgeous and McIntyre doesn't want it. They say it's nasty. Meanwhile, Amazing's teacher says that he goes through the line and eats everything just fine. So I'm going to let him eat school. Jazz, see how she has grapes in there? See how she has fruit in the lunchbox? Try it sometimes. Lunch and just pack him a snack. Now I realize that it would be smarter to put McIntyre's sandwiches right here and move his grapes. So that's what I did. I'm also boiling some hot water to put into these thermals. They say if you put boiling hot water in it, it'll go ahead and activate it and keep it hot for the hot food. My kids did state that yesterday their food was still hot when they went to lunch. So they loved that. And that my pasta was really, really good. Gorgeous was like, it was the best pasta ever, mommy. But she did let me know her apples need to be in the bag because her apples turned brown. Now, I did see another mom on TikTok who said put the apples in water and vinegar. Unfortunately, I don't have any vinegar, but I'll go grab some today because it seems like apples will be something Gorgeous always grabs. Once the macaroni was done. I went ahead and dumped out that boiling hot water into the sink and I started adding the macaroni. For those of you who are thinking about purchasing this lunchbox, I say get it. I'm going to be able now, guys. Remember, we were watching Jazzy pack the lunch. I feel like she had those ex same, those exact same containers that Peach has. It's like the warming containers. You guys let me know. I don't have kids that pack a lunch, I don't have little kids. So let me know if those are the same containers because I thought they were. They look just like the ones Peach has able to put four big scoops of macaroni in this little canister so i know it looks small but it can fit a lot and there we go that fourth scoop i did make a mess but it's okay i got paper towels everywhere wiping down things i'm getting used to this this is only my second day making hot lunch previously we lived in hillsborough county in hillsborough county florida all children regardless of their parents income receive a free hot breakfast so you don't have to worry about making too much money um your kids will eat breakfast in hillsborough county florida for free also in hillsborough county florida certain title one schools receive free lunch regardless of the family's income no matter if you make a million dollars your kid will get a free public education a free breakfast and a free lunch we recently moved and switched counties i have three kids well five kids in school and they go to three different counties. So the county that McIntyre, Gorgeous and Amazing go to school in, I am required to purchase their breakfast and lunch. So they have money in their account for a breakfast at school and lunch at school. Okay, guys. So yeah, I thought that was cute. I've been liking Peach's mommy content, like her back to school mom content lately. So, you know, it's it's not that bad, Peach. Good job. That's finally content that I like from you. I kind of like when Peach is just doing her mom thing instead of trolling. When she's explaining things, when she's going shopping, when she's showing her family. That's the content that I actually enjoy from Peach. That trolling and cussing people out and being mean, being ghetto and looking all crazy. That is the part of Peach that I don't like. All right? But Peach is out here teaching these girls how to troll properly. All right, guys, I have a new mommy that I want to share with you guys, courtesy of Peach. So give me one second while I pull this up. Okay, guys, so we're going to get into a new mommy. Her name is Talia Honey. All right, she has 6.55K subscribers. And she is a troll to the max. All right, so let me show you guys her channel. All right. 
I'll show you guys what our channel looks like. Okay, guys, this is my life, Talia Honey's channel. She's a mom of six, and Peach has taught her well. She is clearly a student of Peach. All right, so let's get into the video that I want to show you guys. Um, one second. All right, so that's her um, channel. And now we're gonna get into the video. Now, this is a, a warning. She is trolling hard. All right, so guys, get your popcorn. Okay, let's get into it. Hit the thumbs up for me, please. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your Section A Queen today, honey, back with another freaking video. And I came on her Okay, so she labels herself as the Section 8 Queen. So the title of the video is Six Kids, No Job, No Education, and On Section 8. So I told y'all, she coming right in, trolling hard, courtesy of Peach McIntyre, her idol, and her teacher. All right? So let's go ahead and get into it, guys. She has t-shirts with Section 8 Queen on the front. Okay? It's real ratchet down in those parts. To say... Why are y'all still hating on me that I, I live on Section 8? Like, why does it bother you that I said I'm not getting me a job? Like, I'm never getting a fucking job. I don't want a job. I'm going to keep having as many kids as I want to, so I ain't got to get no motherfucking job. Y'all heard that, right? She don't want a job. She's never getting a job. So when she's elderly, I don't know who's going to take care of this, um, take care of her when she's an old lady. All right. Eventually, she's probably going to have to get a job because once she can't give birth anymore, she won't have any um, she won't be able to collect welfare checks because I feel like they're capping off at a certain amount of kids. All right. Y'all see how strong mommy Chrissy out here struggling, living a struggle life. OK, but let's keep it going. I'm going to keep sitting on my ass. Ooh. I'm never working for the white man. Never, ever, never. They used to rape people like me. What? I'm never working for them. I will never. Somebody gonna leave a comment talking about someone they need to come in your house to do that and inspection. I bet you let them in. Duh. Why wouldn't I? The only thing I would do is take free shit from a white person. That's it. That's all I would do. I really don't like that y'all keep leaving all these stupid ass comments that nobody sees but me. And I'm not pushing them on my page because you're not getting no call off of me. You're not. If the white person need to come in your house and fix something, you let them fix it. Duh. Oh, if the white person give you food stamps, you first in line. I'm never first in line. Never first in line. But I do get them. Just like I just got a thousand dollars of PEBT today on top of my normal. Guess what I just did? Went to the motherfucking store. Video after video after video that I'm gonna upload. Why would I work? I get enough free shit to sit on my big ass. Why would I work? Hmm. Please tell me why I will get a job. Make it make sense. I make more not working and doing what I'm doing versus getting up every day, getting a job. Why would I go to work just to pay rent? $1,400 a month. $1,400 a month. Why would I go to work just to make that? Please tell me why would I go to work to struggle even more and not have no assistance versus having all the assistance I need and getting paid to sit on my ass. And for the dumb bitches in my college, I mean, in my comments, yes, I went to college. I went to college for two years. I said, forget it because what's the point? The medical field is piss poor. I don't want to do it no more. So I just didn't finish going. What's wrong with that? Why are you getting your nails done and you on Section 8? Because I get paid to sit on my ass. So if I want to look. So wait a minute, y'all. Some of the questions that people ask. So just because somebody's on Section 8 or gets food stamp doesn't mean they're not entitled to have a life. That's when it gets, to me, it's like a line right there. We have a lot of extreme thinking that is absolutely ridiculous. Just because you don't have a job doesn't mean that you should walk around with crusty feet. I actually agree with that. Now, she's trolling, but it's not like it's not gaslighting me. It's going to gaslight some people out here. Look, y'all, the truth is, do y'all want kids out here starving? Y'all think that's going to make somebody stop having sex? It's not. 
That's just the truth. People are going to have sex whether they're poor or rich. They're going to have a bunch of kids whether they're poor or rich. I know I've said some things about people having a bunch of kids in poverty, but guess what? In the end, that is their business. We're just here to talk about it. All right. That's what we do here in the sector. We look at the moms, we see what they're up to, and we talk about it, right? You guys have a right to your opinion. I have a right to mine. I don't think just because you're on Section 8 or you get food stamps that you should walk around with crusty hands and toes. Sorry. If you got money to get a pedicure, go get it. I don't care how you do it. That's your business. But that is taking it too far. It's like when people be like, oh, you shouldn't be able to buy stamps, um, uh, steak and shrimp with stamps. What? It's food. So those people don't deserve to eat shrimp just because they don't have the money to buy it. That's, that's a bit ridiculous, in my opinion. If you guys think that's cool, then, hey, do you and I'm going to do me. Look, you was sitting on my ass. That's what I'm going to do. Who going to stop me? Oh, okay. That's what I'm you doing fraud. How? How am I doing fraud by choosing not to work? Clearly, I still fall under the requirements of not being able to work. And I still get the benefits. So what the fuck y'all so mad for? If I didn't have food stamps, would I not eat? I still have to buy food, right? I still have mouths to feed, right? Right? If I didn't have Section 8, I wouldn't have a, home, a place to stay? I still would have to have a place to stay, right? If I didn't get... Well, guys, is this or is this not a peach student? Y'all can tell it's total peach. She didn't watch peach. She didn't study peach. And she's doing... Ex doing it exactly how Peach taught her to do it, and she's doing a good job so far. I think she is. I don't watch her channel like that, but somebody in the first of all, shout out to whoever in the chat told me to go to this girl's channel. I told them that I would, and I did, and I said, This is the video that we're gonna start off with. She doesn't really have another video trolling this hard, but this is a good one. This is a good example. If you're just coming into the chat, welcome. We are on Talea Honey's channel. She is a the, the Section 8 queen. That's what she titles herself. I didn't make that up. This video is called Six Kids, No Job, No Education, and on Section 8, and she's trolling hard, and we are here for it. All the shit I get every month, I would have to get a job, right? I would have to do it, right? So if all the people complaining about me doing X, Y, and Z, when you have to do this shit, you're grown. You have a choice. You can sit on your ass and collect benefits like I do. And you don't know what I get a month. So all y'all talking about some, it's not, you only get 200 a month. You only get 250 a month. You don't know what the fuck I get. You don't know what I get. It's not your business what I get. What is your business is to watch my video. That's your business. Ooh. If it pops up on your page and you, it's for you to see, why is this in my notifications? Or why is this in my, why is this on my timeline? Because you two want you to see it. Now, one thing about her, I don't know about her older videos, but the ones I've watched, I watch about five or six, maybe seven videos, and she doesn't show her kids as often. Um, like I said, she's a mom of six, and she's Peach's, I think she's Peach's shining star right about now. <laughs> Some would disagree and say it's Sky, but I feel like she has a more of a personality and a better personality and does more of a variety of videos than Sky. Sky doesn't have a lot of personality to me have personality to me in my opinion you guys let me know what you think down in the comments down in the chat shout out to replay guy like why do y'all watch people videos that y'all hate so much get the fuck damn nets and shit get out of my face why do y'all watch people videos that y'all hate so much please tell me what sense does that make and the if reason like she's saying that y'all they be on her top in these comments. All right, we'll get into some comments in a minute. I have videos on my page and that I'm a very lovable, loving, nice, outgoing person. But because I say I don't want to work, you think you can come to my page and talk to me any kind of way you want to? No. 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 Thank you to all the loyal people who are subscribed to my channel, who love my channel, who are all for everything that I do on my channel, who don't care about my little my, my little rants. They know the real me. 
That's why they rock me. That's why they support me. That's why they send me super day. That's why they watch my videos. That's why they send me cash. That's why they buy my ebooks. All that. And I just uploaded a children's traceable book, downloadable on my um, Etsy store. If you want to get that for your kids, if they're just not learning how to write or need some extra help learning how to write, I've used it for all my children. And I'm in my kitchen. As you can see, my kids are always learning. Right? Talking about I'm, uned I'm uneducated. My kid is going to be pissed poor. She talking like she's fucking stupid. No, bitch. I talk like I got an attitude and I'm trying to say something fast. And it makes, I may stutter. I may say something wrong. All that. That's what happens when you have an attitude when you're tired of dumbass people in your comments. I'm fucking sick of it. All right, hold on, y'all. We're going to go to the comments, all right? So give me a second. Let me take this down, and I'm going to pull up some of the comments underneath that video because you know they are getting on her top. All right, one second. Let me make another layover here. All right. We're going to get into these comments real quick. All right, I'm going to pull these comments up and see what they're saying down here. All right, here we go. All right, so one comment says, the real question is who is getting you pregnant but not taking care of you more than the government? Now, she replied to these comments. She says, thanks for watching. All right, so then let's go down here. Poor thing, I feel sorry for her children. They're not learning anything of value. Poverty will be their portion because she chooses poverty. I agree with that to a certain extent. I don't think everybody chooses poverty. When you're born into poverty, that's one thing. But now that the world has advanced a little and you can go to school for this, you can go to a trade school, you don't have to go to college. There's so many things that you can do to make money. She's She is doing social media. So, and then, because in another video, she talks about how she knows her Section 8 amount portion is going to go up as she makes more money. So, and she's not stupid, guys. She's just trolling right here. So, I kind of don't even want you to take her seriously. I think she's just doing what she needs to do to get these views up. Um, let me see what this person says. They say, the way America's economy is looking, the welfare system will collapse with it eventually. I understand not wanting to work within the rat race but I hope you have survival skills outside of the welfare system because it won't be around forever. It will soon fall with America. Please start stocking up. All right. They was going a little too deep for me. Now, wait a minute. Look at this comment. It says, LMAO, you have beat the system and figured it out. Content creation, selling a digital product, Section 8, and staying within their guidelines to get what you need. I don't understand why people get so mad at other people's actions that don't affect them. But it does affect us. That's the problem. It does affect the taxes. But welfare is such a small portion of our taxes. Most of our taxes are going to a lot of stuff that we don't have anything to do with directly. It's indirectly, but it's still affecting us as a whole. Once people realize that their decisions do affect others, the world will be a better place, but it's never going to happen. Guess what somebody said in the comments, y'all? The same thing I was just talking about. I blame Peach for this. And then someone else says, you're letting your kids know you only having them for benefits, period, period. All right, let me see what else they say. YouTube is not her job, and she has an ebook. She's on her way to entrepreneurship while most people are miserable punching a clock. And she can focus on being a mom to her kids. That's a weird way to look at it, guys. Um, I think it's ignorant to think that somebody else should take care of you until you're in the position to take care of yourself the way you want to. Everybody has to start at the bottom. So to think that you should just come in and be right at the top, that's like, a, like are you five or, or, or 10? Maybe 15. I don't know. It's very childish and very self-serving, um, very selfish to think that way. Only like little kids think that way, I think, like kids that are just entering the workforce. So anyway, they said, she's on her way to entrepreneurship while most people, while most are miserable punching a clock and she can focus on being a mom to her kids. With inflation and everything else, most people slaving at work are still struggling. So who are we to judge? That's true, but at least they're working towards something. If you don't ever get started, how do you know where the end is if you never start anything? Let me see. 
So this one says, I'm a new subscriber and watch your video. I enjoyed it and learned something new. When I was younger, then I chose to work because the government at, at the time only gave me a certain amount. The government used to give more to a single person if he or she will go and work a job, unlike with them giving a set amount each month. Hold on. For the benefits. I guess it's not like that anymore. All right. The comment is too long. I'm moving on. Okay. I'm on Section 8, but I do work. I have to make some type of money. You can still work on Section 8. You just can't make a lot of money, so you won't qualify. But it's nothing wrong with Section 8. But I can't be without money. I like having nice stuff and pay light and water bill and rent. Okay, that was illiterate. All right, y'all. I just wanted to somebody <laughs> look. I just wanted to give you guys a uh, um, idea of what it looks like down in her comments. Somebody said mental unstable, not mentally unstable. Mental unstable. Somebody said it's not about white people. It's about green. You cannot change history, but you can make a future. I agree with that. All right, guys. Like I said, this is the new like, girl that we're talking about. Wait a minute. Her name is Talia Honey. I had it on the screen, but all right, let's go back to the video. Pull that back up. All right. Like, why do y'all hate so much? But it's okay, y'all gonna hate me even more. Y'all gonna hate me even more. Look at my shirt. Section eight queen, section eight queen, section eight queen. I keep popping this to all oh, have 10, 50 million fucking kids if I want to. I'll be a kiki while you're at a project, minus the money. Wow. But I don't care about that. The kiki while at a project. Kids, they're safe. They're not being inwarded by their ugly uncles and whoever y'all people be. My kids is safe. Thank you. Okay, guys, that is it. That is it. That is all. We are done with Talia, honey, the new mom that I just introduced. Guys, thank you for joining me on this reaction. I hope that you have a great rest of the day. All right, guys, and I will see you in the next reaction. Bye.